Cepheus. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regas, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. This week, we're going to talk about a constellation that's part of an ancient celestial story. And more excitingly, one of its stars helped astronomers determine the size and shape of our own galaxy and the distances to nearby galaxies. Wondering what we're talking about? Let's show you. Okay, we have our skies set for an hour after sunset any night this week facing north. Off to the northeast, you'll see the familiar W-shaped pattern of Cassiopeia the Queen. The stars that mark this constellation, starting from the top down, are Calf, Shedar, Tsi, Rukba, and Segan. If you draw a straight line from Shedar to Calf and keep on going, you'll run smack dab into a constellation that looks like an upside down house. This is Cepheus the King. Cepheus was the husband of Cassiopeia and father of Andromeda. The brightest star in Cepheus is toward the upper left at this time of night in October. That star's name is Alderamon, and it's 49 light years away from us. Since it's the brightest star in Cepheus, it's named Alpha Cephei. Alderamon lies very close to a region of the northern sky called the Precession Circle. Over a period of 26,000 years, Earth's rotational axis passes through several constellations, tracing a giant circle in the sky. Right now, our rotational axis is pointing toward Polaris, our current north star. However, in 7500 AD, Alderamon will be our north star. I'll be sure to mark that on my calendar. Traveling counterclockwise from Alderamon, we have Alfred, also known as Beta Cephei. Alfred is a multiple star system approximately 690 light years from Earth. Alfred will be our north star between 5200 AD and 7500 AD. The next star in Cepheus is Arai, also known as Gamma Cephei. Arai marks the point on the roof of this house-shaped constellation and is a binary star system approximately 45 light years away. Arai will become our North Star in less than 1,000 years, and it will retain the title of North Star for over 2,000 years more. When Alfred becomes the North Star, it will have to share that title with Iota Cephei. For almost 2,000 years, they will seem to perform a nightly interstellar waltz around our North Celestial Pole. Iota Cephei is a single star approximately 206 light years away from us. It's over twice the mass and over 57 times as bright and over 11 times as wide as our sun. The fifth star in Cepheus is Zeta Cephei, an orange supergiant star over 830 light years away and over eight times the mass of our sun. The mass value is important because it's very likely, from what we know about the processes that happen within a star, that Zeta Cephei has enough mass to ultimately go supernova. The last star we'll talk about is one of my favorites. It's Delta Cephei, and it's just up and to the right of Zeta Cephei. This star is special because it's the prototype for a class of stars astronomers call Cepheid variables. And it's because of this star that we know the distances to nearby galaxies and realize that the universe is expanding. In 1784, a young English astronomer named John Goodrick began observing Delta Cephei and noticed over time that it varied in brightness at regular intervals. This discovery laid the groundwork for measuring distances in the universe. In 1908, astronomer Henrietta Leavitt was studying thousands of variable stars in the Magellanic Clouds, and she noticed that numerous stars were found to have the same relationship between their luminosity and their pulsation period. Once the pulsation period for a particular Cepheid variable was determined, astronomers could get an accurate measurement of the star's distance by comparing the star's luminosity, which we already knew, to its observed brightness. This relationship was so strong that it allowed subsequent astronomers to establish the size and shape of our galaxy and to determine the distances to other galaxies. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.